One of the things I've been asked to do while I'm here is to give you uh, an impersonation, an introduction to a very famous man who influenced me greatly. His name is Billy Graham. How many of you have heard of Billy Graham? Quite a few. <laughs> Harold Horner, you've heard of Billy Graham? Yeah, Harold Horner certainly would have. But there's a new generation growing up, perhaps, who uh, hasn't heard. I went to, I was about 10 or 11 years old, and I went to the first Billy Graham film, not a movie, but a film entitled Mr. Texas. And I came back from that, and I was hooked on Billy Graham. My generation of teenagers was into Elvis, and I was into Billy Graham. And uh, what an impact he had on my life. Billy, you know, stands six foot two in his socks. I said that to a friend of mine. He said, that's interesting. How tall is he without them? Well, <laughs> it depends a little bit on the socks that you are wearing. I remember being on a plane and a woman said to me, you know, you have a blue sock and a red sock. Your socks don't match. I said, oh, yes, they do, because I go by thickness. <laughs> Dr. Bailey was kind enough to refer to the fact that I've written some books. I brought one up here for this reason. Uh, this is entitled, Where Was God? Answers to Tough Questions About God and Natural Disasters. It is a theodicy. How do you go on believing on God when the Bible so clearly teaches that God stands back of natural disasters and not a rain, not a drop falls except that God allows it? But anyway, I have a different reason for the book here. Now to Billy Graham. This is, of course... A younger Billy Graham, next month, November the 7th, he will be 90 years old. But uh, this is the Billy Graham I used to watch on TV. And, and I'm not going to preach a message that I also have, but just an invitation. And maybe something special for the faculty at a later moment. <laughs> but I'll only give an invitation like Billy Graham might give an invitation. It might sound something like this in the morning. My voice might not be the best, but we'll give it a whirl. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to come, hundreds of you. You simply get up out of your seats and I want you to come. And for those of you who have joined us tonight by television, we'd like to send you some literature. And we'd like to send you a book that has been a blessing to tens of thousands of people around the world, written by Pastor Lutza. <laughs> Just write to me, Billy Graham, Minneapolis, Minnesota. That's all the address you need, just Billy Graham, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Now until the same time next week, goodbye, and may the Lord bless you real good. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs>